Welcome back to Breath Edge, and uh, I guess we should uh, designate this place the uh, Mess Hall, perhaps? I think that would be an appropriate name. Sorry about potential noises there, just adjusting the microphone, boo. So, yeah, in the last episode, uh, we uh, quite obviously, uh, or we, uh, I, I should say in this particular instance, made uh, quite a bit of mess here. Now, uh, thanks to uh, some uh, minor helpful pointers from uh, good friends, uh, let's uh, first of all equip the flashlight. That might be a good idea. You never can tell. Um, and I guess making an accelerator might be an idea as well, because I suspect that goes into that slot here. Let's see here. Equipment. Yeah, it does. So we need shawarma, refined metal, and some uh, nice, tasty yellow water. That should enable us to build the accelerator. Yes. Good. Doesn't look like an accelerator. It... it Oh. Right. That's how it works. Okay. <laughs> well then. That explains the um, ineffective when used in a healthy stomach setting. But anyhow, um, I need some uh, oxygen uh, handles. Uh, and I probably should take a bottle of water and a nutrition package, and eat and drink. Do I have any... Well, except for uh, playing football with the honey. Yeah, let's take three of them. And we are heading back to uh, an area where we were earlier. Uh, behind here. I, th I think this was the, um, the mail delivery thing. There's a lot of boxes there. And I think those boxes might hold the key to uh, perhaps not... Oh, wire. Chicken! Hello, chicken! We have task for you. See, you see here. Go there. Ah, there's a good chicken. Yeah, I can extract the rubber from these. Not that the rubber is something that we strictly need a lot of, but... Um, Still. Okay. So these boxes here. See, we can break them. They are mailboxes. They... I mean, for being cardboard boxes in comparison to the... To the um, metal boxes, storage containers. These can deal with a lot of punishment. An absurd amount of punishment, as a matter of fact. Is that it? Oh, there's a bottle of water as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I might have to go back and come back here. I don't know if I have enough oxygen for this. Aha! Suitcase! That looks like what we want to be able to organize our mess. We'll take the rest of the stuff as well. I'm pretty sure I lost something there. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop nagging. Yep, yep, yep. And um, yep. I'll grab these uh, little uh, uh, balls of metal as well. Underpants? A pair of fashionably coloured athletic shorts for big guys. For big banana. They can, can't be worn in the spacesuit because of the built-in waste pumping system. But if there's suddenly some beach nearby, you'll be able to pull off this urine collector. 
Why do yeah. you need underwear if you're in such a beautiful spacesuit with smartest AI, which is me? Yeah, you know, you never can tell. It did give me uh, an achievement, though. Multi-layer. Multi-layered. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop complaining about oxygen. Well, I can use the accelerator now. Hold down shift for that, by the way. Just don't think too hard on exactly how that works. A spacious travel suitcase every passenger used to have. The suitcase has no internal compartments, secure locks, wheels, retractable handles, or competitors. Oh, I'm glad they don't have any competitors. So, can I, for instance, put a... S no, I didn't mean to put it in the slot there. I dropped that here. Yay! Container. And I start dropping pieces of metal, which was not my intention. So these achievement items, I guess I can put those away in some remote area. Um, can I make suitcases? I believe I can. Four refined metal. That's not too bad. Need some metal balls. I should go find a piece of refined metal over here. And then let's make a suitcase. Of course, the ability or the inability to paint them probably isn't going to be that useful, but uh, I I think I have to take these to get the. Uh, collection thing inventory full okay so let's dump a suitcase here in which we can put well, none of these items but uh, because i thought i'd put a suitcase here as well and this one we can put all of those silly achievement items inside i don't know if i'm going to need this one I think I used that for what I needed to use it for, but uh, if not, then it's going to be located here. Uh, this one I'll pick up again. Now we'll start picking up these things. And in here we can put things that is related to food. Yellowish water does not... Uh, fall into that category. Honey does, though. Yep. I might need a second suitcase for this, because I suspect I might have too many food items. Trish's goo and ice definitely fits in there. Geesh, we have a lot of water. Uh, yeah, I suppose I could put the oxygen candles in there as well, although having four of them with me probably isn't a bad idea. Uh, there should be more items here. Honey... What's over there? How did you get there? Okay. Uh, well, hello. Don't go all insane on me now, please. Did I have another suitcase? Yes, I did. If we dump a suitcase, I don't know, here? Maybe we can have more of them there as well. We can put all of these um, things that are related to crafting in this one. I need three metal balls so I can make another of these handy scrappers. Uh, those go into the other container. And I think I'm going to... I don't know, the, the rubber, I don't know if it's necessary for anything except for the... Uh, I haven't seen it being used in anything else but the uh, electrical tape.
no, I definitely think that, that the electrical tape is the only thing it's applic applicable for, so uh, by making two of these, I'm literally saving two spaces, so... Okay, uh, light bulbs, fine. And let's go over here again. Uh, we don't need these things. That crap imposed by the developers, I can't use that for probably some time yet. Oh, uh, yeah. What the heck? Put these in here and another bottle of water. This really helped. Uh, pick up oodles and oodles and oodles of things. As much as we have space for. Inventory full. Do we have any food items? Not that I can see. Um, you go there. And how many refined metal did we have there? I think we can. Yeah, we can. Uh, I just need to make one more of these, and I can make another suitcase. This is this is just perfect. Oh, and we can make lots of uh, electrical tape. Why haven't I just done that on the fly? Probably because I thought we would need the rubber for something. I might keep a couple of rubber around, just in case, like, like those four. Uh, and if I stand here and I drop that there... Perfect. I can put things like actual items in the other case. I could put the raw materials. We could call it that in this one. Like metal and these things. And then we'll use this one in an attempt to be organized for the other, other things. Yeah, that looks good. So, there are more things to pick up from our uh, very organized mess over here. No, I actually think that I cleaned it up. Yep. Um. Yeah, these suitcases are probably going to be all over the place when I come back. No matter. I feel we have enough electrical tape. Do not ask me how I have come to this conclusion. Alcohol. Yeah, that can go in here as well. And the scissors in here, together with the condoms and another battery. And I don't need that many oxygen, generator. oxygen generators. Now we have stuff in here as well, so might as well take these items and put them where they belong as well. Um, let's do this systematically. Uh, food items. Oh, that's not bad. So, uh, achievement items like uh, back scratcher and survival guide and stuff like that. We will put that in here. And then in this one, we will put the food items. I think we have plenty of those now. You know what? I think I might need to use a dedicated slot for the... Uh, let's just use this one for now for the uh, oxygen uh, candles. Then finally, we can put... Where did I put the alcohol? Here. That's the wrong container. So... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. But this one gets to have the yellowish water and the alcohol and the scissors. And I guess the oxygen generator as well. And then finally, we have... This, although, 
I should do that and then pick up one of each of those. That was the final thing. Now the final thing that I need to do then is just craft one new handy scrapper. Okay, that took a bit of time, but uh, at least uh, we now have uh, a much cleaner inventory and we can uh, continue in our little exploration. Another handy tip that I got was that the cold, while being annoying, is not fatal. So uh, it's just a matter of leaving the area, which I suppose that is a point. Uh, but I should keep track of my health while we're being here. There might be something of interest down here, you never can tell. An automatic shuttle temperature control system. Due to the freezing of the sensors, it works at maximum power and is able to melt the cooling gel along with the helmet. Sadly, I can't do anything about it, so that doesn't help. How about these? Marking corresponds to the water tanks. Water to I well I don't need more water. I have plenty of water for a long time. You'd think I would be able to do something with this. You'd think. That being the key phrase here, you'd think. That doesn't necessarily mean that I am. There's another toilet. Pressurization may occur in the vicinity of the toilet pump when the waste tanks are damaged externally. It is highly recommended not to sit on it during such moments. Ha oh. I was about to ask how that has happened, but um, never mind. He did explain, and um, I am um, satisfied. It kind of feels like the wrong word here, but uh, the explanation at least gave me some kind of idea. Um, shall we go with that, shall we? Yes, we shall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's something we can do down there, but uh, we'll get back to that area later on. I'm very curious about what is down there. Okay, so that thing recharges. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details on exactly how it charges. I'm thinking that most of you have already gotten the idea. Let's leave it at that. Okay, so we've been into the shuttle. We got the eye from the smuggler down here. Metal balls, those are always welcome. I'm going to go up and recharge my oxygen, and then we're going to head down to that um, interesting thing that looks rather uh, gory. Oh, and again, I need to stop. Another tip that I've gotten is that when you use an oxygen refiller thing on one of these, that would be uh, the oxygen generator, it doesn't matter if it's at 499 or if it's at 1, it still just refills it to 500, so uh, be careful about that. Don't use those uh, oxygen generation thingies unless you uh, really need to, to use these. Otherwise you will be wasting. Okay, so radiation is rising. Look at my um, danger keep away meter down in the right there. It's definitely getting more orangey. I'm not sure what this is. I mean, could be blood. But then again, it might be something else as well. A large accumulation of toxic colorant has been discovered. If you find a container with this substance, you may receive irreversible brain damage and also improve the anti-radiation protection of the spacesuit. Ah, oh, that sounds great. So it's lead paint.
This looks um, mildly disturbing to me. Uh, the, the colors and everything. What is this? It looks like a tank with paint. Okay, that's good. How does that help me? Oh, it's a lead plate. I'm gonna smash that to pieces. Lead. Thank you. Uh, is there any more lead around here? Oh, there's a wheel here. Oh. Empty tank. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so... We need to use an oxygen candle, and then I suppose we should get out of here. I should set up more oxygen stations. Down here doesn't seem to be necessarily the best place for one, but maybe. I mean, it's better than using my uh, oxygen candles, because I'm going to be burning through them quite quickly at this rate. Maybe I should go back and craft one of those uh, portable oxygen stations and set up one down there. Yeah, I need to use one of these. I think we're going to do that actually. I think I'm going to go back and uh, craft a couple of these. I think we discovered that 70 was too much, so 66 should be fine. Especially now that we have the uh, very advanced accelerator. Would have thought that uh, wind in space would be useful. Yeah, 60 is actually too much too when we have the uh, the accelerate accelerator. Hmm. Okay, so we got lead pain. Is that something? Um, composite resources. We can make. Lead paint. I need more lead. Because we need... Well, I could make this one now, actually. No, I, had, I don't have glass. Uh, but I do have two... Yeah, I might be able to use the... Or make the enhanced spacesuit now. Because I think we had another ball of paint somewhere. Just a matter of finding it. Yeah, I did. Uh, I'm so pretty sure we had some aluminium, but the question is where? Because we need four aluminium. Uh, a roll of fabric? I doubt this is a roll of fabric. I probably need more of these to make a, make a roll of fabric, yes. That's another way I can save space. I can convert the uh, four fabric into two, uh, two slots. Okay, so we need aluminium, but where the heck did I put that? Oh, I it's in here. Uh, four, I believe. Yeah. The protection level against radiation is still insufficient for the flight to the evac point. You still need to improve the equipment or click exit game in the menu of your spacesuit, which will solve all your problems. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fair point. Um, so let's put this on. Oh, we do need glass, uh, but that was the thing that was that I meant to do. I meant to clean out this uh, cupboard. Bring a couple more uh, of those. 
And what I wanted to also to do was to create some uh, oxygen stations. Uh, I think we'll make two of these. That's big. That's very big. I had forgotten how big that was. So if I make some more ropes of fabric, perhaps, I can make two of them. What's the rubber? No, uh, the plastic for. No, I have no idea. I need one for the helmet. And for the oxygen balloon. But I already have one of those. I don't need more of them. Scanner. Speaking of which. We might need to improve the drill. Or that is make another one. But for the time being I think I'm good on that. Um, okay. Uh, let's put this in there. Uh, we could actually have a nib nibble and take one of each of those. We have no edible substances on us right now. So if we go in here, we can put the fabric in this container. Uh, I don't know why I'm keeping the batteries on me, but I, I keep thinking that I need them. Sheesh, we have a lot of plastic. Okay. So that looks good. But to manufacture one of these, I'm going to need what? Tape and aluminium. Just having two of them with me now is exactly what I intend to. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we are happy with that. Did I bring... Yes, I did. There's something over there. So we can go back down there afterwards. That children's room thing. I suspect there might be more there because I was kind of in a hurry when we got there. There's also things up there. And I'm, I don't know if I've explored the entirety of that thing. But apparently there's something in that direction. So if I do now I've used the accelerator multiple times, so when it's at thirty. Okay, let's just do it outside of the freezing danger. So let's put one down here and install it. Confirm. And then we can refill our oxygen at this one. Oh, you can dismantle them as well. There we go. And now we can go down there and uh, have a look at this more properly. There's obviously things we can mine on the uh, asteroid here. It looks like aluminium. It would be useful if it was lead. This is aluminium. Don't need that currently. Salt. Don't need much of it. Because it's for making food. But I'll, I'll grab these balls of salt. I remember there was some larger things with salt here as well. Uh, there's a box of salt. We don't really need that much of it. I think eight, which is what we found, is more than sufficient for quite some time, actually. 
Yep, I'm gonna leave the other ones. And we'll go refill our oxygen again before we go back down there. This is definitely a much better way of exploring than uh, using the oxygen uh, candles. I believe the oxygen candles are also being used for making the, uh, the refillers, so... Yeah, yeah, I know it's cold. I'm not that bothered by it, so don't worry. I'm Norwegian, remember? Uh, some wire, not that we need that, but... Uh, hey. Okay, so it doesn't appear that there's anything specifically useful here, then. I think we kind of exhausted the uh, potential usefulness of the area. This is probably just more salt. Oh, that's some nutritious goo. That I can actually make use of. That's just ice, and we have enough of that. Okay, so what is that? flame icon. It's definitely something we should look into. That's 270 meters away, so that's not too far away. Okay, well this looks interesting. A cemetery of rescue shuttles. The evacuation zone is very close, but the amount of debris is far from encouraging. That's true. We need that super magnetic key to open the coffins in case they have some baryonic uh, treasures inside. Oxygen candle, that's useful. Okay, so now we're really freezing. It is I... highly recommended that you not touch the glass fragments with your hands. Tiny splinters are able to pierce the thin fabric of the spacesuit and cause a slight death attack. Okay, well, I'd like to see something. There was glass there, so I want to go back there. Well, this is useful. I think I'm headed for the wrong one. No, I'm not. There is one right in front of us. Oops. Thank you. I can see something again. We need to go back there. I, I assume that I have to use the, um, the grab stick to get that glass. I know there's freezing danger here. We'll, we've been through that. I want that glass. Seriously. A rod with a pair of scissors on it. Although I didn't go to the flame. I would have if I could have seen something, but... Uh... I guess we'll have to uh, have a look at the flame in the next episode. Um, okay, so how do I pick up these glass things? Requires a grabber. I do not have a grabber. Okay, well then. Let's get out of here. 
I should look into this uh, grubber uh, mystery. I was sure I could grab things with this. Small puffs of gas. Not sure what that is, but... Uh... All right, um, I'm going to head back to the uh, shuttle, but um, on our way there, uh, I see no reason not to uh, have a small peek inside of this thing. Maybe there's something useful here. Ah, this looks pretty devoid of anything, but I don't think we've been in that thing. Apparently it's cold here as well, because my screen seems to be freezing up again. The temperature control system proved to be extremely reliable and works even when the shuttle is destroyed completely. I wouldn't recommend disassembling and examining it. Okay, so this thing actually heats me up again, so I've been here. That's that's uh, that's one way of dealing with the... Uh, maybe that's what the flame down there is. I don't know. What I do know, though, is that we need a grabber. And I was certain we could make one. I can't use uh, Grandpa's uh, back scratcher for that, I assume. And even if I could, it has a durability of three, which makes it pretty much useless. I mean, I could pick up three glass, but... Uh, Let's have a look at Grandpa's back scratcher. Starting with this, you can create an excellent tool for grabbing something else. So I did get, um, but I thought the blueprint we got was this one. Equipment tools. Oh, gee, I didn't make one of those. How silly of me. Uh, aluminium. I probably didn't make one because I didn't have aluminium at the time. That's probably it. Okay, well, that helps. Um, so we are going to go to this chest or suitcase and put some salt and goo in here. And we are going to have a quick sip of water and some food. And then pick up one of each of these. And I also need to put the electrical tape in here. Other than that, I think we are pretty much good to go. I did think we had another oxygen generator. Where, where might I have put that? Not in here, not in here, not in here, there. Okay, I don't want that in there. I want the oxygen generator to be in here. And I should look up how to make the oxygen generator before we... Uh, scanner. Battery, refined metal and plastic. So Okay, so this doesn't require an oxygen candle, that's good. And I have plenty of batteries, so that's not a problem. Find metal, that's something that I'm going to need more of. I should probably also make some... Um, let's see. Uh, I. Okay, so I shouldn't have made all that with those rolls of fabric, because now I can't make... Um, oh, I can't make the... Um, Uh, first aid kit. That's a bit annoying. Then again, I probably will find some more uh, fabric uh, eventually, so I, I, I think we should be good. I uh, just want to put these things in here. Uh, I could probably also a loud headline, but the probability of the liner crashing due to a terrorist attack is 65%. Yeah, well, that might actually be why we have crashed. 
I mean, we are going to try to figure out why we did crash, and a terrorist attack does not seem like a very uh, unlikely prospect. So, anyways, I uh, think we are at the end of this episode here. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, this game is uh, certainly bizarre enough, uh, but I'm enjoying this uh, quite a bit, um, much to my uh, pleasure since I couldn't play Subnautica, much to my displeasure considering, as I mentioned in an earlier episode, that game has received very high praises and uh, I am pretty sure that I would love the game, but um, I just get very motion sick from it and completely and utterly confused by, uh, by the water navigation. So yeah, um, that's, that's just not an option. Anyhow, if you have any questions or comments, as always, please do feel free to leave those in the comment section. And uh, also, you could uh, pop into the Discord. Uh, you'll find the link to that in the uh, description. Uh, you are more than welcome to come there and uh, discuss the game or any other game that I am uh, recording. Uh, but for now, thank you all so very much for joining me. And I shall be seeing you all in the next uh, exciting and scary episode of Breath Edge.